So, and uh, we are in the home of Richard and Juanita Schubert. Schubert, is that correct? And uh, I just thought it was kind of interesting. They are involved in crafts and uh, wood. Uh, and Juanita is, is uh, the associate organist at the uh, Big United Methodist Church. Okay. We have a, a pipe organ in our house. Now this is what was really intriguing. We walked in here and they have a whole pipe organ. I've never seen a whole pipe organ installed into a home before. Maybe uh, you could tell us where this came from. Yes, this was, uh, came from a church in uh, New Philadelphia, Emmanuel Lutheran Church that burned down except for the organ loft, and a friend of mine uh, bought all of the organ pipes for $50 of scrap metal and gave me the pipes. And uh, then I went and got books on how to build pipe organs and finally built this pipe organ for Juanita. This is very nice. Now, what? Now, where did these? Uh, I mean, who was the original manufacturer of the uh, pipe? Johns Organ Company. And they are uh, Orville. Orville. Okay, that's what he. So all the pipes. Some of the pipes were damaged, and all of the pipes were dirty. And we had to wash out all the pipes and remove the dents and refinish the wood pipes because some of them were cracked from water damage. But we finally got all the pipes together, and I built the chests and the, uh, the organ console, and then now this is the finished pro project. It's uh, 12 ranks of uh, pipes. That is impressive. Now this is what, stain looks like might be stainless, or? No, that's uh, pipe metal, which is a combination of tin and lead. Okay. And, uh, and then they're formed into the pipes. Now these are wood pipes here, no. correct? I'm trying to figure out what these, now, these are. are. These are beach. Beach, these okay. These are stoppers that, um, that tune the pipes. Okay, so you had to calibrate it? Oh, yes. So to, okay. yes, yes. You tune the pipes by raising or lowering the, the uh, stoppers so that the right note is produced by the pipe. And then on the metal pipes, you have the slider, okay. which are moved up or down to make sure the pipe is tuned properly. Now, what's, where's all the uh, air coming from? Uh, we have a blower in the garage. Okay. And the blower, um, the output from the blower is, is passed through a reservoir which regulates the pressure. Okay. The uh, pressure regulated air comes up in the front and is piped to each one of the chests. And all the chests have air pressure inside of them. And uh, when a note is played on the organ, a uh, little pallets inside the chest open up and let the air go through a, a hole into the pipe, and that makes it play. Okay. Well, I was wondering if she could play something for us. Yes. yes. Juanita? Yeah. Hi, Norris. Hello. How are you? Good. Yeah. Here's some more. Yeah. Hey. Hello, Tate. Hi, Bella. We came here for some Christmas love and cheer. Well, you got it. We got it. Hey, Michelle. Yeah. As long as it's free. That's, oh, that's quite a console. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you were saying yeah, the neighbors, the neighbors heard you occasionally outside. What's the problem? This was modeled after uh, the whole camp we had, right? In yeah. Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and we'll get the whole thing um, that's, that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You can buy keyboards, and you can buy the pedal board, um, but the rest of it, you, you, you buy the stop pad, um, and I can make settings by changing these and set uh, special arrangements of the stop to play. So that's unique to Hope Camp Tracker or um, Okay, this is a piece called the Christmas Carol Still Still. Still um, arranged by a wonderful, wonderful, uh, probably eminent, the most eminent organist in the 20th century in this country. And he just died a few weeks ago.
at age 90, and I had the wonderful privilege of studying with him for several years, which was the joy of my life at that time. And they gave me permission to go up to Chicago and study with him. And this is one of his arrangements. Paul, Dr. Paul Mann. Yeah. He's known all over the world for his organ improvisation, his hymn festival, and particularly one of his choral pieces, um, the title of which is Eden to Eden Soul, or Jesus Quickly Come. And it's even been sung at the Vatican on Christmas Eve, so it's, and it's a gorgeous piece uh, for choir. This is still, still, still. Three, four. <laughs>